the Portland Trailblazers have been reported to want to trade the third pick. Do the Pistons have enough to trade up to the third with the Blazers? I don't know. I don't. I feel like even Damian Lillard's future is still up in the air with the Portland Trail Blazers. Because, I mean, they're in a situation where you have a young guard in Anfreen Simons. You have Shadon Sharp. You have a nice little core with Damian Lillard there. But it seems kind of, I don't know, it just seems kind of ass backwards to trade the third pick instead of trading Damian Lillard. You know, I mean, but let's get back to the question. Do the Detroit Pistons have enough to trade for the third overall pick? I don't know. Um, you, I mean, what do you think? You have to trade Bojan and Alec Burks for it? Probably, yeah. Like, you're hoping maybe Brandon Miller's there. Like, that. that's the thing you have to think of. Like, if the Hornets are going to take Scoot and Brandon Miller's on the board, do you kind of say, hey, let's just go get Miller at three? I don't know if the Blazers would do that because like I, said, I, I think they're just hoping – the Raptors cave and give them OG and an OB. Um, like I said, in the beginning of the podcast, I think it's going to be like a golden state warrior situation where if you do remember, they, they had the second pick and they were hoping to get a superstar player. And that never, that never happened because no one wanted to help the warriors out and they were stuck. I think that's probably what's going to happen with the Blazers because I think most teams want to trade for Dame and they don't want to help the Blazers out. I mean, Jeremy Grant might not even resign there. And they're they're hoping to get the article said from Yahoo that they're hoping to get a wing to help them out. I mean, hey, do you, I don't know if Boyan and Alec Burks and five would make sense just to move up to three. I feel like that's a lot for the Pistons, personally. Um, but I'm sure you could have those conversations. I, I I know Pistons fans like Brandon Miller a lot, so do I, so do you. Yeah. Um, but it, it it just depends on what Charlotte's gonna do because I feel like Charlotte's just gonna Charlotte. You know, they're they're just gonna probably take Brandon Miller too. Yeah. Um I don't know. I mean, I kind of when I read that article, I kind of felt like they were just talking about Paul George trading the third pick to the Clippers. Like I don't know why I instantly thought of Paul George, but you were mentioning Jalen Brown. That's interesting. Maybe Boston actually does do something like that because again you know you had Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown both make all NBA teams their contracts are about to be huge maybe you want to clear a little space with them I don't know but I really feel like Portland's best move would be to try to trade Damian Lillard why his value is as high as it is right now and just start the rebuild because it's inevitable it doesn't matter who the Portland Trailblazers trade they're not winning a championship like they're they're yeah. it's just not going to happen I don't know why we're just fooling ourselves with this idea that they're going to win a championship with Damian Lillard as their best player. It's just never going to happen. But, I mean, if Troy Weaver could fin- – I don't even know if I want Troy Weaver to get into the top three now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I just – I'm because I've talked myself into the fifth pick and the prospects there. Like, I'm, a, I'm okay with it. I would be okay if Troy Weaver just – Stayed out of any trade scenarios for this. I mean, let's get to give up like Rodney McGruder. Like, if that's the case, yeah, okay, yeah, dude, let's just do that. But that's not possible. That's never going to happen. But if you're talking about helping the Portland Trailblazers out and trading some assets that might help the Pistons win 30 plus games next year, I would rather go with the 30 plus games than the third pick. Are we actually talking ourselves into maybe Scoot Henderson being drafted at like number four? Because Portland might no. I'll go three. I'll go top three for sure. Yeah, I would like to see Scoot and Dane. That'd be kind of fun. I was listening to a, a podcast, and I wish I had heard this a couple weeks ago. But they were talking about Scoot Henderson poten- potentially playing like Donovan Mitchell in that off-ball role. You know, and I'm thinking, damn, I never even thought about that. That would be great. But who knows? So, yeah, maybe I think Portland should just draft Scoot Henderson and then, you know, just go with it right there, man. I think they should keep the pick. Yeah, I mean, if I was Portland, I would just trade Dame to Philly or Milwaukee, whatever, and then rebuild with Scoot Henderson. You got Anthony Simons. You got Nasir Little. Then you can just start you start over. Like because he, you've tried this with Dame. Like I I know he wants to be loyal to Portland and stuff like that. But like if, if you couldn't win with Lamarcus Aldridge, Wesley Matthews, I, I felt like that was the peak team that they had. 
Like you're you're not gonna win with lesser talent. Like, yeah, they have Nurkic, yeah, they had Jeremy Grant this year, yeah, Anthony Simons is an up and coming star in this league, but like Portland just gutting their team for a short term asset makes no sense. If I were them, I would just rebuild. Yep. But I'm hoping they're stupid enough that they want Boyan so we can go up to three and hopefully Brandon Miller's there. I'm hoping. And I'm probably drinking the, you know, the this Detroit Pistons Kool-Aid and it probably won't happen, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful they're stupid enough to pull off a trade like that. 